Welcome back to Arkansas Bigfoot, everybody. I'm glad to see all of you today. Now we thought we'd give you a little change of scenery for this adventure. Yeah, Arkansas is one of those places where it's really populated in spots and really not populated in other spots. Mm -hmm. We're not very far off of a blacktop, but we're in the Wachita National Forest. This is a forestry road cutting up through here that leads to a fire station. So we thought we'd get out and walk up and down and check it all out and see if we could see anything that looked unusual or interesting to us. been raining and hoping the rain is passing. Yeah, we've been kind of walking through the raindrops hoping to get a clear spot to record for everybody. It's tricky walking through raindrops. <laughs> But even from the spot where we pulled in with the truck and parked, we could see a bunch of brakes and bins and things that looked kind of interesting to us. So we thought we'd get out and explore some of this. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and all the way up in the northwest corner at Fort Smith, all the way down to the southwest corner at Falk, all through the central part of the state, there are Bigfoot sightings everywhere. Usually about every month or two you'll hear of somebody seeing one along a road or while they're out camping or fishing or just doing whatever they're doing outside. Sorry, I'm seeing something dark over there. We'll keep our ears out for knocks and whistles and that in case they're watchers. It seems like once you get into the farm region of the state in the Delta area, it kind of slows down for sightings and then picks up again once you're on the river bottoms along the Mississippi. But definitely a good area to come look and research and have a high potential of hearing something or seeing something. It makes sense to me that they would have the sightings they do. The way this forestry is, it's just amazing. And acres and acres and acres of it. And you guys can hear the vehicles on the road behind us where we park campers and everybody going back home for the 4th of July holiday. But where we're at, there's no cell phone service. The nearest grocery store or gas station that's even open is 25 miles from here so we're kind of out there in it and I watch him for feet yeah I that looked kind of interesting right in there oh yeah Hey, check this out. Oh, wow. Well, guys, it looks like our soggy bottom is not the only spot that's got some. Sign. <laughs> got some sign laying on the trails, and there's you a. Can see trail running right up into there and it looks like a kind of bunch of left. big mm -hmm. log structures. I can't tell if that's a footprint right there at the front of that glyph or not. 
Should we go up in there? You want to yeah. go down a little further? And I'll walk up there on the top of it and take a peek anyway. Well, that seems to be a consistent symbol that we've found. Double check this side. So we're looking like a couple of drowned cats out here today, so. Better than melted ice cream. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. Thank you very much. Yeah, I just wanted to take a peek up in here. There's arches. You want to go a little further? They say it's okay. Sometimes I have to remember as often as we have investigated that when it's a new new place, you know, to ask. But they're giving us a green light, so it's interesting. That is really thick back there. Trying to look and see if it looked like there was a footpath or whatever that was more worn than another through here, but there's so much. Yeah, there's so much old leaf litter. And They'll use a small trail. Let's see. This comes right across through there, down into that bottom where those big breaks and leaners and stuff are at. So we can check that well, We haven't <laughs> even got up in here yet. Let's go a little farther. Watch your step, those pine needles are slick. Interesting. It's one of my favorite things is the artwork. Almost looks like a structure. A little structure, I don't know. That's just really awesome. I 
I don't know how nature does that. <laughs> I'm looking at it. Think back further this way or on up? Um, I'm thinking get back up there on that old lane and go on down a little ways and mm -hmm. see what we can see. You literally walk for days out here. This would be a, another good place to incorporate. Yep. I don't know, you guys liking the looks of this so far? I'd say a young male. Okie dokie. Also be an excellent spot to look for some of your little Translucent flitting twits out here running around. Yeah, lots of hiding holes. <laughs> Look here, but it almost looks like a face on the side of that already. Yeah. I could see a bunch if I looked. Don't get me started. That's awesome. Oh, and there's a lichen. 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 A lichen is a werewolf. Oh, <laughs> well, it's spelled different. <laughs> That's why I stopped and paused for a second. Of a <laughs> okay. First you say it, and then, first you say it, and then it's you do it. Right oh crap! That is so cool. Little orange toadstools. Yep. It's a good spot. I may not be too far off about that little tree trunk. And we will be doing the follow-up for the Fairy Hollow. It's been a very busy weekend. Fingers crossed, I think the rain gave it up for a while. Oh, it's so pretty out here. I don't know that walking for days out in a place like this would be a bad thing. But there's been many, many camp stories out here of middle of the night and hearing stuff rummaging around the campsite and hearing wood knocks and hearing grunts and grumbles and a lot of people that have been on the lakes fishing and seen them in the distance on the bank of the lake getting a drink or whatever Kind of keeping an eye out along the edge of the lane here to see if we see anything, but there's a lot of rock and gravel. It might not be a good spot to look. Well, you look high and I'll look low. How's that? Whoa, 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 whoa. 
I don't know what this is, but I'm just that. Now put your hand down there by that. That's Wolf print. <laughs> way too big for a coyote. Hmm. It's a little foot. Him. It's a little little foot. That's what I thought I was seeing. So who, who's chasing who out here? <laughs> okay. It's deer. Yeah, some deer, some deer tracks, tracks there. Oh, <coughs> fairy tale is up here. That is a deep, dark hollow. Let's, let's go touch it. <laughs> I want to call out the junior, but I know he ain't here. Yeah, he'll probably be like, mm. I don't know if I want to start calling to these guys. We don't know what their attitude is. Well, I was kind of trying to tune in to Uncool, but see if he could hear. Look, I don't know. Am I standing in it? I can't tell. What do you say? It's just odd. Yeah. It's hard to say on that one. But I was kind of reaching out to Onku, hoping he could at least tell us something. And I said, you know, basically, oh, yeah, this is where I'd be staying. Yeah. But I asked if these guys were friendly and he's the response was better than most so I don't know what that means better than most look at their little arch better than most so however that interprets <laughs> he says, okay he says about like them before us okay so we can go with that and X's right there. You may have to stand here to see it. You can see the X. Yeah. The saplings are in the right wrong place. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, that definitely looks like their kind of territory. Wide paths. Alright, so here's your word for the day. Bioluminescence. <laughs> Everything. Animal, person, plant, all emits a photon energy that is a bioluminescent auric field around it. <clears throat> I believe that's how they see so well in the dark and how they find different animals or people or find their way through the forest is because it all glows to their eyes. I believe it glows in color. Yeah, even people, <coughs> excuse me guys, even people can see aura fields around other individuals or a lot of people can I should say, mm -hmm. but it's that same, same thing. I think they definitely understand the nature. Maybe that's also how they tune in to intention. They also feel the nature of whatever's got that color based on that. But when the photons in your cells get excited, like scared or angry or happy or anything that causes an emotional excitement, they fire off and they start to light up even brighter. I must be glowing right now with all this sign. Yeah, it's like they say a woman glows when she's carrying a baby. Well, she's got two life forces inside of her or sometimes more. Yeah. 
So, yeah, she's glowing. Look at this big pile of <laughs> stuff up here. Well, in the words of another comedian, there's your sign. <laughs> what a tree break going on right there. Amazing how it's right there crossing those two rocks, those two boulders, and that looks like it had been a trail up through that at one point. I'm thinking this definitely needs to be visited when we've got some bright daylight to see what's going on with everything. From here it almost looks like it'd be a looking spot, you know, because like yeah. it's kind of flat right there. The back side of that. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Very cool. still out here though yeah don't no birds. feel any kind of breeze there's no birds calling no squirrels just a few random drops of water off the trees oh i hear one bird yeah i say i'm here <laughs> He heard us talking about him. <laughs> I'm really surprised we haven't heard any stick knocking, wood knocking, rocks, whistles. Uh, you know, if you guys are interested in doing stuff like this and here around this area of Arkansas. It's a national forest. It's public access. You can come out here and poke around. I would suggest you start a little earlier than we did today, but Wow. 
watching for peekers. <laughs> yeah. Suddenly they start feeling very close. Alright guys, I'm going to pause this for just a minute because I saw some water flowing on the map on the truck GPS. So we're going to hike on around, see if we can spot it out, and I'll turn it on in just a minute. Get that somebody threw or whatever's left over from camping. Water blew it down here.
Alright guys, so we came around this bend and I saw something way out there on the road step out dark and tall and step back in. in there do you want to keep going forward yeah give me just a minute trying to see if I can see it in the monitor here I feel like I can see on either side of the tree up there is that a tree? I think it might be trying to focus on those branches in front of it there and not giving me a clear picture farther out. Can't tell. Let's go on up. I definitely see something up there, but I can't. Yeah, I have to walk around that to the right. Mm -hmm. Well, I think we're going to have to put this on our calendar to come out here at least a couple times a month. But I'd say female is wide. Makes it hard on this hard packed gravel. Yeah, there's so many trails crisscrossing and running through here. I'll literally be out here days and days trying to work <laughs> just a little corner of it. I just keep seeing something over here on my side on the I don't know if I it looks like a good trail um, it goes uh, down to the left though I'm not seeing anything move now 
And these places will play with you too. And some of the lightning bolt movement that they can make, it's not that you're not seeing anything, but pacing on our right earlier. We're going to put our day packs together and all the other essential items and just get out here early in the morning one of these mornings and start in. What's the old saying? How do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. No, I feel like, intuitively speaking, I feel like we have one on each side of us just kind of gently pacing to watch. Alright guys, let us know what you think. If you want us to come back here and poke around, we will. Well, we thought we'd take a break from everything over the 4th of July weekend and come out here and look at some different real estate for a while. And we're definitely not of any mind to abandon our group. We just think it's good to see other spaces. And have some comparisons and who knows? Never know. We'll catch you down the trail. Hit the like, share, and subscribe. Mm -hmm.